Today, I am excited to announce the launch of our new learning platform, Lomos AI. It is an AI platform that is built specifically for students. You can upload your learning material, for instance, a textbook, course notes, slides, or whatever you have, and then you can freely interact with it. For instance, you can ask questions about specific chapters, topics, paragraphs, or even images, and the AI will provide a response based on your learning material. So it does not hallucinate. And it goes even further. If you want to test your knowledge before an exam or a test, you can generate tests and practice exams based on your learning material. And then also you can fill these in and you can have the AI provide feedback, whether you made mistakes or not. And in today's video, I will showcase how you can use this new platform to improve and enhance your studying experience and performance. You can get started for free by visiting lomos.ai. And here you're immediately greeted with the core vision of Lomos, a personalized education for everyone. If you scroll down, you can see the core principles of lomos.ai. And then further down, you can see how it works. You upload your learning materials. You can ask any questions about these learning materials. And then of course, if you like, you can generate practice tests or exams about these learning materials and of course also interact with them. So how does this go in practice? If you're new, you can of course get started now by signing up with an email address or directly with Google. Now be aware that the verification email might end up in your spam. When you then created your email, when you then created your account and verified by email, you can simply log in. So here I will log in with the admin account And then you're greeted with the home page. Now here you can do different things. Of course, we see here that we now don't have any chats yet and don't have any tests. Now you can create a chat already, but of course you want to add it to a document. And thus you can upload a new document, which can also be found in this resources page. And you simply upload a document. Now you choose a file. And in this case, I'm going to upload a quantum fields theory course. You give it a name, so for instance, quantum field theory. Now, when you end up uploading a lot of learning documents in your education, you would want to give it a description so that you can remember what it was about. For instance, here we can add course notes on quantum field theory. And then we have some text on which you can search for. For instance, this would be physics, uh, quantum and notes. And then we can upload the document. Now, what happens here is that the upload happens quite instantaneously, but now it is processing. This means that the AI is reading the entire document such that it can answer questions only based on this document. And so it will not hallucinate. So before you can ask questions, you of course need to wait until this is already processing. And it will take a few minutes depending on the size of your document. Now, if we go to home already, then we can see that for the free profile here, it says that I've uploaded two of the three documents I can upload per month already. And this brings us to a very important part of this platform. All of the functionalities are available for free because education should be a freely available resource for anyone around the world. However, the only restriction, because running this platform costs money, the only restriction is the volume which you can apply to it. For instance, you can only upload three documents per month, you can generate three tests per day and have three chats per day. And also the storage is limited. And later on, I will talk about the benefits of having a premium subscription, which basically means all of the same functionalities but just having no restrictions on the volume and you can use it freely however much you like. So if you now go to resources again, we see that it is still processing, so we will wait a bit longer, but you can already generate a chat. Let's say that we want to generate a chat, for instance, quantum field theory. And this will be the chat on which we will attach the document that we just uploaded. So we can create a chat and we are greeted with the main interface. We see that here on the left, we have our document, which is just a PDF file in this case about quantum field theory. And on the right, we have the chat interface. 
Now you can slide this however you want. For instance, you want to make the PDF document larger because you want to study alongside the PDF document. And then of course here on the right hand side, we have a chat. So we can say hi. And of course we're greeted by the AI. Now at this point, we see that the document is still processing. So if we look at resources, ah, we see that immediately it is ready now. And at this point, we can go back to home, to our chat, and we see that we can use the document for answers. So let's make the PDF document larger again and start asking some questions about the document. Now, if you don't want to have the AI answer questions directly from the document, you can disable this feature by turning this toggle off. And if you do this, then the AI will just not look at the document to answer any questions. But of course, what we want is to ask questions about the document. For instance, what are the chapters in this document and their corresponding, co corresponding pages? We'll have the AI look at the document and it should give us an answer based on the document, which is of course something that you cannot have with general AIs. We see here that the chapters in the document along with their corresponding pages are as follows. And it gives us an overview of all of the chapters and their corresponding pages. And if you look at the introduction or the table of contents, we see that it indeed agrees with this table of contents. So we are quite sure that indeed the AI is looking at the document for its answers. Let's then say that you're working through the document and at some point you have a question. For instance, about a specific image or a specific formula or even a paragraph. So if we scroll down, then we see here, for instance, that this picture doesn't quite make sense to you and you want to get some explanation about it. So what you then can do is to go to the picture taking tool here on the bottom right and you can take a picture. You can just select the area of your document that you want to capture. You press capture and it is sent immediately to the input of your chat functionality. So then you say, I don't understand this image. Can you please explain? So it's put into the chat image and then the AI will answer. So here it says the image appears to represent a physical system involving and so on and so on. And if you read this through, you will see that it indeed gives some more information about this image. So let's say for instance, that you want to have some more information about the formula that you have and that you don't quite understand. Let's for instance, take a random formula, this one, and we say this formula, I don't understand where it comes from. So we do capture. We ask, um, I don't understand this formula. Oops, formula, can you explain? The AI looks at the formula, looks at the document, and then tries to formulate an answer to your question. And then you see that it formulates quite an extensive answer explaining every symbol and every term about the formula. And you see that quite nicely, it formats the mathematics in a very pleasing way. On the left hand side, we see these different panels. So we have the document to be shown on the left. If we click on this one, here you can see the images that you had in this chat. And this is the image we initially had. And this is the formula that we entered into the model. Then we have a place where you can write some notes. So for instance, I ended today at page 30 and then you can save the notes and it will be saved successfully. Then the last one is the test. And this brings us to the next functionality of Lomos AI. You can generate tests. So if you go to the home page again, then we see of course here our chat on quantum field theory. And now we can generate a test. If we want to generate a new test, then we just click new test. We attach it to the document about which we want to generate a test. So the AI will create a test specifically based on that document. We have the optional field of the topic on which we want to be tested. And if you leave this blank, it will just create a test based on the entire learning material. But of course you can enter chapter three, intuition or a specific topic. Here we can take, for instance, Feynman diagrams. Now the difficulty can be easy, medium or hard. And the question type can be multiple choice or short answers or even a full exam, but we'll get to that later. So if we take the easy multiple choice and we generate a test, then it will take a few moments to look at the document 
and generate easy multiple choice questions about the topic that we uh, ingested. So let the spinners spin for a while. And then here we created a test. Again, let's make the PDF a bit larger and we can see a test generated. We have the questions. So for instance, what is the primary purpose of Feynman diagrams in quantum field theory? And here you can just pick the answers. So let's just, for instance, say that our answers are, my answers are A, B, C, A, a D, and A. Just picking some random. How many questions do we have? We have eight questions. So A, B, C, D, A, D, A, A. So we put this in and let's see how well we scored. Now the AI itself will again look at the test, find the answers and score our test. So let's see what, how well we did. And you can see that it looks at our answers and corrects it if necessary. So we set A for the first answer. However, it is B to visualize interactions between particles, which is of course the core features of Feynman diagrams. And then in the end, because we were just guessing randomly, we only got one of them correct. So you got one of the eight questions correct. You can, of course, also ask a hint. For instance, where in the learning material can I find the answer for question, let's say question three. So question three, if we scroll up, which of the following is true about the vertices of Feynman diagrams? So it says that you can find the answer for question three in the section discussing Feynman diagrams, particularly where it explains and so on and so on. So then here, even though this is a test chat, we can also access our document again. So during the test, we can just look at the document and scroll through it to see if we can find the answer. Now, if you want to have a more difficult test or a different type of test, for instance, an entire exam, you need to upgrade. Now, this is a very precarious topic because I'm really all about providing these tools for free because it's educational and education should be for free. That's why all of the core features are and will always be free for everyone. The only issue, the only limiting factor is the volume. For instance, here we can see that if we already generated three tests a day and we want to create a new test, it says that the daily test creation limit is reached. The same for the number of chats, which is also three a day. And then the documents is three a month. So if we want to upgrade, we can go to pricing and then you can see the benefits that you get. But basically the benefit that you get is unlimited file uploads, unlimited chats, unlimited tests, and so on. Another benefit is that for future features, which you can find in the roadmap section, you will have early access. So if I upgrade this account, I just click upgrade and I will be directed to the Stripe upgrade page. So let me just upgrade this account and I will get right back to it. So now that I've upgraded this account, you can see that all of the limits on the volume are lifted. So you only show your stats, two chats, one uploaded document and one test made. So let's to finish off, make a practice exam. So we again, new test. We pick the quantum field theory document that we uploaded. For the topic, we just, we leave it blank. So it will generate questions throughout the entire course. Let's make it medium. And here we can take the full exam. Now, if we generate test, this might take a longer time because it's a much more extended exam. So we just let the model think for a while and it will come back with a great exam, which you can use to practice your knowledge on. So we'll have it wait for a while and this might take a while. And then at some point it is finished. Let's again increase the size and we can see that it's a quite extended exam. So first question is on the foundations of quantum mechanics. So it has a part A and part B. It also gives a hint. So see the external action principle in chapter one. So for every question, it gives you some uh, reference. For instance, for question 2B, which is six points, it gives you a reference to chapter 5.4. And again, then you can click here to go to your document and you can scroll to chapter 5.4. So if we scroll down, we see that there's quite an extended number of questions. And of course, as always, you can ask for more hints or help or even corrections if you finish this exam. So what if you now want to download this? Well, then you go to resources and here you can see all the resources that you have. You have 
the quantum field theory document, which you can see in three chats. You have the tests, which you can download here. For instance, the last test, you can just download test. And you have all of your images, which you can delete or go to the corresponding chat. So that's it for this first introduction to Lomos AI. You can try it out for free and any feedback would be incredibly useful for me. Now, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I want to extend a generous offer to you. If you signed up to Lomos.ai, then you can send me an email with that email address and I will give you premium subscription for one month such that you can test it out extensively and provide feedback such that together we can make this platform better. And making this platform better, you can of course always look at the roadmap to see what is going to happen in the future. And with that, I will end this video. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.